How's it going guys, George from George Talks here and today as you can tell from the title I'm going to go on a bit of a rant with the Lad Bible. Now if you don't know who the Lad Bible are or you don't have a Facebook account they are basically a page on Facebook, I think they're based in Manchester and they basically used to share funny content, uh, funny videos, not as many links and uh, more pictures and videos and that's when they started to get a big following and then Lad Bible took advantage of this large following and started putting in links with about a shit ton of adverts on them links with a very underwhelming subject in them links and a lot of people were like yeah we, we don't care we're not going to click on these links but I've noticed that it's very clickbait titles in their uh, links so I thought I'm going to click on this just fall for the clickbait screenshot the um, inside of the link and put it inside the comments so people don't have to click on the links. I thought that was a good deed of me, pretty good. And uh, Lad Bible did not take kindly to this. And uh, basically I said in the caption before I posted it, don't waste your time clicking on these links. The Lad Bible just want your money from the ad revenue. And I put it in the comments. And uh, I was top comment for a while. And uh, I got about 200 likes on uh, that post. People comment in saying, you the real MVP, we need more people like you. Made me feel good. And then a uh, day later, I went to check it in the morning and uh, it wasn't there. So, Lad Bible took it down. I wasn't too bothered about it. It was like, okay, sure, they don't want that on there. Fine. And then uh, I, about five hours later, I only... Uh, went on their profile and then realised I couldn't comment on anything so I can't do it anymore and I was like, this is strange and then I realised they blocked me they blocked me from uh, posting on their comments anymore and that just shows how much they want your money from that ad revenue and it's so pathetic that just because they've gained a large following in the past two years they think that they can take advantage of this and uh, just use the ad system for money purposes and it's a shame because they have such a large following of about 10 11 million people mainly in the UK I think and it's just pathetic I think that they only care about the money side of it and that's all I want to be that person that exposes Lad Bible for who they really are and I already made a Facebook post about it about how they blocked me for exposing them and it would be hilarious if they strike this video down I would enjoy that, I want that to happen, I want them to do that because then that's just proved my exposure point even further and Lab Bible if you're watching this you're, you're pieces of shit you only care about your fucking ad revenue that you get from your links every time people click on that link you're getting hundreds and hundreds of pounds at least I think so, I'm not going to confirm that, but nothing I ever say is confirmed, but from what I've seen and my experiences, like Bible, you've been exposed, I used to like your videos, I share your videos all the time, and that's all I can do now, I can only share the videos, I can't comment, I can't like, so I can't tag people in them anymore, and that's pretty shitty of them, I can comment on Unilad and the Gaming Bible and the Sport Bible, which is basically their sub channels, and uh, Lad Bible is their main hub of channels. Um, but yeah, Lad Bible, uh, message, message that I leave you with is don't click on the Lad Bible's links. It's a trap. They're taking your money, <laughs> alright? And just enjoy their videos because I don't think they get any money from their videos or their pictures. Just don't fall for their clickbait fucking links. It's bullshit. Alright guys, it's been George from George Talks and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.